Welcome to Forehand Frenzy, where we're always in the front row of the most exciting moments in tennis history. In today's episode, we're diving into the life and career of one of the sport's most dominant players, Margaret Court. With a staggering 64 Grand Slam titles to her name, Court's record is one that will be difficult to surpass, but her journey to the top was far from easy, with countless obstacles and challenges along the way. And while her name is synonymous with success, it's also become a lightning rod for controversy thanks to her outspoken views on social issues. Join us as we explore the highs, lows, and everything in between in the life of one of tennis's most fascinating figures. This is the story of Margaret Court, and it's all happening right here on Forehand Frenzy. Early life and tennis. Let's take a step back in time and explore the early days of one of tennis's most dominant players, Margaret Court. Born in Albury, New South Wales, Australia on July the 16th, 1942, Court grew up in a family of four and was introduced to tennis at a young age by her father, who himself was a keen tennis player. Court pursued her passion for tennis with unrelenting resilience, and by the age of 11, she had already won her first junior tournament. It wasn't long before her talent was noticed, and at the age of 13, she became the new South Wales junior champion. With her skill on full display, Court was offered a scholarship to attend the Western Australian Institute of Sport in Perth, where she received world-class coaching and continued to develop her game. In 1960, at the age of just 17, Court won her first Australian Open, defeating fellow Australian Jan Lehane in the final. This victory marked the start of a remarkable career that would see her become one of the greatest tennis players of all time. Victories on the court. Court's achievements on the court are a testament to her talent, endurance, and dedication to the sport of tennis. She won an incredible 64 Grand Slam titles in singles, doubles, and mixed doubles, making her one of the most successful players in tennis history. Let's take a closer look at some of her most notable victories. Wimbledon, the home of champions. Wimbledon is the oldest and most prestigious tennis tournament in the world, and Margaret Court left an indelible mark on this iconic event. Court's record equaling 10 singles titles at the All England Club is a feat that few players have been able to match. Her victories at Wimbledon came across three decades, and she defeated some of the greatest players of all time, including Billie Jean King, Evon Goolagong, and Chris Evert. Court's success on the grass courts of Wimbledon cemented her status as one of the greatest tennis players of all time, and earned her a place in the hearts of tennis fans around the world. The US Open, a hard-fought victory. The US Open is one of the most grueling tennis tournaments played on hard courts that require a different set of skills compared to other surfaces. Despite this, Margaret Court dominated the tournament, winning the singles title five times, as well as six doubles titles and two mixed doubles titles. Her victory in the 1970 US Open final against Rosemary Casals is considered one of the greatest comebacks in tennis history, with Court coming back from a set down to win the match. Court's success at the US Open is a testament to her skill, determination, and versatility as a tennis player. The French Open, the ultimate clay court challenge. The French Open, held annually at Roland Garros in Paris, is one of the most challenging tennis tournaments in the world, played on the slow, gritty clay courts that test a player's endurance and strategy. Margaret Court's five singles titles at the French Open highlight her ability to adapt to different playing conditions and surfaces. Court's victory in the 1973 final against Chris Evert is considered one of the greatest matches in tennis history, with Court winning in three sets after a grueling battle. Court's success on the clay courts of Roland Garros earned her the respect and admiration of tennis fans and players around the world. The Australian Open, a homecoming triumph. The Australian Open was Margaret Court's home Grand Slam tournament, and she dominated the competition like no other player before her. Her record 11 singles titles at that tournament, including her first victory in 1960 at the age of just 17, is a testament to her skill, determination, and love for the sport. Court's victories at the Australian Open earned her the nickname the Aussie Amazon and made her a national hero in Australia. Her success at the tournament also cemented her status as one of the greatest tennis players of all time and inspired generations of Australian tennis players to follow in her footsteps. Let's look at her other achievements. Court's accomplishments extend beyond her impressive Grand Slam title. She was a fierce competitor and won many other notable titles throughout her career. She was a key member of the Australian team that won the Fed Cup, now known as the Billie Jean King Cup, seven times between 1964 and 1973. In 1973, Court became the first player in history to win the Grand Slam in singles, doubles, and mixed doubles in the 
same year. She also won the singles title at the Italian Open seven times, a testament to her dominance on clay courts. It's clear that Court's accomplishments on the court speak for themselves. Her dedication to the sport of tennis and her remarkable talent have earned her a place in the history books as one of the greatest players of all time. The Enduring Legacy of Margaret Court Court's impact on the sport of tennis goes far beyond her incredible achievements on the court. She was a trailblazer and an inspiration to many, breaking down barriers and fighting for equality in women's sports. In 1973, Court famously boycotted the US Open in protest of the pay disparity between male and female tennis players. Her activism and advocacy paved the way for future generations of female athletes, and her legacy continues to inspire players around the world and is a testament to the rewards of dedication and of perseverance. In in addition to her impact on the sport, Court has made significant contributions off the court. She founded the Margaret Court Ministries in 1991, a Christian ministry that aims to spread the word of God and promote healthy lifestyles. Her dedication to her faith and her commitment to using her platform for good have earned her the respect of many, both within and outside of the tennis community. Post-Tennis Life – From the Court to the Church Margaret Court's life after tennis has been as dynamic and fascinating as her career on the court was. After retiring from the sport, Court turned her faith and became a Christian minister. She founded her own church, the Victory Life Centre in Perth, where she still preaches today. Court has always been vocal about her Christian beliefs and her faith has been a driving force in her life and throughout her career. Continuing to inspire, coaching and mentoring young players. As a coach and mentor, Court has continued to inspire young tennis players, passing on her knowledge and expertise to the next generation. Her own children have also achieved success in the sport, with son Daniel coaching and daughter Bridget serving as a commentator for the Australian Open. Controversies Court's views on homosexuality have been the subject of much controversy and criticism in recent years. Her statements regarding the LGBTQ community have caused widespread backlash and calls for boycotts of her and of her church. Court has made numerous comments over the years including claiming that homosexuality is a sin and that it can be cured through conversion therapy. She has also spoken out against same-sex marriage and adoption by same-sex couples, stating that children need a mother and a father in order to thrive. Court's views have caused outrage within the LGBTQ community and also among tennis fans and players alike. Many have called for her name to be removed from the Margaret Court Arena, one of the main venues for the Australian Open, due to her controversial remarks. Despite the controversy, Court has refused to back down from her beliefs, stating that she has a right to her own opinions and that she's not homophobic. She claims she simply cannot embrace moral relativism at the expense of her faith. The ongoing controversy surrounding Court's views on homosexuality led to a wider discussion about the role of sports stars as public figures and the responsibility that they have to uphold inclusive and tolerant values. Some argue that Court's views should not be given a platform, while others believe that her right to freedom of speech should be respected. Regardless of a person's opinion on the issue, it's clear that Court's legacy as a tennis player will always be intertwined with her controversial views on homosexuality. Thank you very much for watching this video about the legendary tennis player Margaret Court, we hope that you enjoyed learning about her amazing career, including her numerous Grand Slam victories and her status as one of the greatest players of all time. Despite the controversy surrounding her views on homosexuality, Court's legacy on the court remains unmatched. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content on the world's greatest athletes and their remarkable stories. Don't miss out on our future videos that will showcase the inspiring journeys of sport icons who have left their mark on tennis history. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon.